Alabama begins its quest to go back to back. Last season, Nick Saban won a record seven title, leading the Crimson Tide to a perfect season, capped off with a 52 24 win over Ohio State, the national championship in Miami. Today, looking to make a statement against Miami. Bryce Young takes over under center for the Tide as Alabama replaces a bevy of starters. But of course, they don't rebuild in Tuscaloosa, they reload. All right, back here with Danny Cadell, Chip Patterson, Tom Fornelli, number one Alabama taking on number 14 Miami at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta here on the first Saturday in September, looking to be back there on the first Saturday in December playing for the SEC title. But first things first, Alabama 19 and a half point favorite against Derek King and the Canes suffered a torn ACL in Miami's bowl game. He's ready to go. No one here thinks Alabama is going to lose. But Danny, why do you believe that the tide is going to roll and win by at least 20? You know, Hakeem, I really wanted to go the other way, be contrarian and say Miami's going to cover because we've seen this story before. In fact, we've seen six times Nick Saban has started a season against a ranked opponent. And guess what? He's 6-0 and against the spread in those games with an average margin of victory of 23 points. So I, I get and everybody's pouring on it. And I want to be that contrarian, but... I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what? I'm going to trust Nick Saban in this spot. There's And there's uncertainties abound in this game with both teams, but in Alabama, especially with all of the pieces that they lost on the offensive side of the ball, which are well documented. But we've seen this story before with the Crimson Tide. We saw Tua go off to the NFL. Mac Jones stepped in. We're going to see Mac Jones step off. Bryce Young uh, steps in. We've seen receivers go off to the NFL. Then we see new guys who we get to learn about, new stars develop. I'm going to trust that. And what I don't trust for Miami, and this is the massive X factor, where I might even play this game live as I'm watching it unfold, is De'Ara King. I thought it was nine months since he had his surgery. It's only eight. <laughs> I mean, it's insane how fast he has come back. But I think Alabama's defense is going to really put the pressure on De'Ara King. And if he's not as mobile as he typically is, that does not bode well for the Miami Hurricanes. So give me Bama laying the points. I think you're going to see the same old story with Nick Saban. Yeah, I'm with you, Danny. I'm on Bama because I don't like to make a habit of standing on the train tracks expecting the train to get out of my way. I, I look at this matchup and I see Derek King, who is obviously the most experienced between the two quarterbacks, but he's also coming back from a torn ACL, and I'm not sure he's going to be at 100%. And I think Alabama has the defensive capability to kind of keep King in the pocket and force Miami to beat it with its passing attack. And I just don't see how Miami can do that consistently for 60 minutes. So I think this is going to be a tied win. They're going to cover pretty easily. Uh, yeah, Tom, I don't think that this Miami offense is going to be able to do much because Alabama's got one of the best defenses in the entire country. The wide receivers do not intimidate Alabama. Alabama will be fine going with man coverage on the outside, which frees up rushers at the linebacker position. Oh, who plays linebacker for Alabama? Is it Will Anderson, one of the most violent pass rushers in the entire country? Yeah, this is going to be no good for Miami's offense. And I pair that with a lot of the uncertainties that Danny talked about where I think think that you can say you know, Bill O'Brien, first game getting out there with the reloaded offense, uh, Bryce Young and an offensive line that's kind of just gotten settled, wide receiver room that has good talent but not a lot of experience outside of John Mechie. Same thing can be said about the running back position. I like going with the under here because Alabama's defense will lead it to wins here in these first couple weeks of the season. And that means that uh, the offense, even if it sputters a little bit, even if they decide to be a little bit more conservative than what we saw with the wide open attack led by Mac Jones and Tua in the last couple of seasons, that we still get a comfortable Alabama win. Miami doesn't score much. I think this total is about a touchdown too high. Nick Saban, 14-0 straight up, 12-2 and against the spread in season openers. Hard to argue with that. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.